Hello, this is Mark Bobo from www.houseinvestigations.com. We received a phone call from a Cleveland woman who had a complaint about energy forces that caused static shock electricity in her home. She said the entire home has an electrical charge that makes her hair stand up and her eyebrows stick to her forehead. So what happens? Well, I, I everything clings to me. My hair stands up. My, you know, it's um, it's just worse upstairs in our bedroom, um, in our bathroom. Um, does your hair like? Does your hair on your arms stand up at all? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, With the heat on, heat off, air conditioning on, air conditioning off. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. Um, clothes that used to be comfortable just clinging it's just kind of funny that the guys don't notice it no i know that the women do my friend i you know took her upstairs like last friday within minutes her her you know clothes started to cling and she said i just want to move my hair out of my face you know she had long hair because it was just she could feel this you know sensation the nice young lady told us that her clothes cling she has frizz hair and she always feels uncomfortable she also stated that she believes that the new roof she just had installed had something to do with her shocking daily odd pain she also stated that other females who visit her home feel the same sensation and men that visit the home do not during the house inspection we were told that the neighbor cut down trees that were located on the south this permitted more heat from the southern sun. We were also told that the roofer removed two layers of shingles. The new thinner installed layer of shingles, along with the hot sun, permitted the attic to get hotter, transferring more heat to the second level ceiling. This meant that the AC ran longer, permitting more house dehumidification. Air conditioners lower the indoor humidity, which is desirable for creating static electricity. The home was full of cloth products, furniture, boxes, and other stuff that act as capacitors and store electrons. Furthermore, the stored material also sucks the moisture out of the air and contributes to lower humidity. Furthermore, this Cleveland woman stated that she rarely sits down and she keeps busy all day in her home. She had a rug in almost every room. She had floor runners in every hall. Most rooms were wall-to-wall -wall carpet. She walked around the home 12 hours per day in her rubber-soled shoes and charged everything up she touched and charged everything up she moved. When you move an object across a carpet, you charge the object with electrons. When you touch the charged object, the electrons jump to your body. If you have a home that has low humidity, you have a lot of cloth products, beddings, a lot of carpets, throw rugs. If you're wearing shoes that, that have rubber, have rubber as you walk across the floor, you're charging yourself up. If you have furniture that's cloth and you sit on a furniture with cotton, you're charging your body up. You might want to consider A, increase the home humidity, declutter, get rid of carpets if possible, and get rid of small rugs. Hardwood floors are the best. Hard furniture is the walking around, barefoot, maybe getting rid of carpets, having wood floors, wood furniture, and decluttering, and most of all, increasing the house humidity. Other people, like myself, I don't really feel anything. Um, I don't feel anything right now. I, I don't feel any different. Uh, some people, their hair stands on her, hair stands on her arms, they can feel a tingling sensation. Um, some people don't feel it. I, I don't feel anything different about myself. And I just charge myself up 